Welcome to my video. To get new educational videos and updates, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be very grateful if you could please like and share this video, which I hope will give you a beneficial knowledge. Remember the 4F fill the anterior chamber with cohesive OVD, flat anterior capsule, fly in the anterior chamber, fixate on the anterior corneal incision. Remember the 4F fill the anterior chamber with cohesive viscoelastic, which will flatten the anterior capsule and if the anterior chamber is not filled with OVD and the anterior capsule is not flat it will tend to extend because it acts like a distended bag so usually the capsule axis will extend to the sides of the capsule The size and the centration of the capsule rexes usually we aim at 5 to 5.5 millimeters and centration is on the cornea not on the pupil because really sometimes the pupil is not central so you draw a line from the center of the cornea till the periphery of the cornea and then you bisect this line and you will have 2.5 millimeters radius of a circle and this will give you at the end about 5 millimeters capsule axis size the other measurement is the size of the incision which is usually 2.4 millimeters So where to start? You have to put this circle in your mind while you are starting the capsule rexes. And for the beginners we divided into four quadrants. So you have the incision at 12 o'clock and then at 6 o'clock is the inferior part, then 3 o'clock near the paracentesis which I usually do it at 2 to 3 clock hours and the other paracentesis is around 9 o'clock as well so I start usually anti-clockwise sub-incisional because this is the difficult part because you have to adjust the angle of the cystotome and then you push in the second quadrant then in the third quadrant you are pushing as well to complete the circle and then pulling in the last quadrant so this is the direction of the forces I'm using irrigating cystotome which is 25 gauge and I put it on the OVD cannula this will help always maintaining the anterior chamber depth and flattening the anterior capsule and this is easier as well if you have shallow anterior chamber so you do a very superficial scratch not to disturb the anterior cortical lens matter from the center of the cornea with the reflex of the uh, microscope and till the periphery then you divide it into two and this is approximately the uh, radius of the circle so you start in the center towards the paracentesis and then you pull it to draw anti-clockwise circle and you try to pull the flap in the direction of the 
second quadrant and around the 12 o'clock position sub incisional I usually inject more OVD then you pull the flap from this area it is easier to um, control it so you leave about one millimeter from the edge and then you change your force and the direction of the force to pushing of the flap forwards and inject some OVD every three clock hours then at six o'clock you are changing the direction of the pulling to pull towards the end of the circle and then you complete the circle so remember always the flat anterior capsule and fixate the cystotome up not down to the anterior edge of the uh, corneal incision so in this position this is the point of the fixation and always don't press on the uh, globe and remember to fly in the anterior chamber especially if the patient under topical anesthetic and when you go sub incisional you have to change the angle of the cystotome and remember that it is a thin capsule holding a jelly inside so under this jelly which is the lens there is water so everything is very mobile so you have to remember that while doing this capsule rexus and if you press on the posterior edge of the corneal incision this will make the anterior chamber shallow because the OVD will go outside the eye this is a case of a shallow anterior chamber so I inject OVD while entering the anterior chamber and then at the inferior angle to remove all the echoes from the incision then I put some dispersive viscoelastic on the cornea then you enter the anterior chamber with the cystotome putting it onto the side and then rotating it then we start as we set from the center to the periphery and bisect the line then you have now a reasonable amount of radius to go with the circle anti-clockwise then I inject some OVD after moving about three clock hours and I change the direction from here to pushing to complete drawing the circle and always you have to inject OVD to keep the anterior chamber depth and to flatten the anterior capsule then now we have done half of the rexes I change the direction to pushing and drawing the circle on the edge of the flap as shown here and always make the flap in front of you and now I'm changing the direction to pulling again then we finished the circle you can see now here the circle after removing the um, nucleus and the cortex and here after implanting the interocular lens the rex is covering all the edges here from outside to see the movement of my hand always fixate on the patient forehead and inject 
OBD as we have said to make sure the NT chamber is filled. Then with the cystotome I always put it on the OBD. Then we start as we discussed before anti-clockwise I start with the sub-incisional part and you can see here from outside the eye I am injecting the viscoelastic and without going outside the eye and I'm not pressing on the posterior edge of the wound, always fixate on the anterior edge of the corneal incision and always fly in the anterior chamber and fill the anterior chamber with OBD and flatten the anterior capsule and then you change the direction every three clock hours. Now this is the last part by pulling is shown here and this is another measurement is the needle of the cystotome and it is about 2.5 millimeters as well so this is another measurement that you can use during doing the technique of the capsule rexes so again This pupil is mid dilated, not very small and not very big, which is ideal for the beginners. And the same technique anti clockwise, the line from the center to the paracentesis and bisect it, then every three clock hours you change the direction of the force and to draw the circle and always push the flap in front of you and have the edge of the capsule axis clear to observe any extension and you can see here that the anterior chamber is very stable and the anterior capsule is flat so we are pulling now on the last quadrant thank you for watching thank you for watching